Your Android phone by default shares your personal information and your messages with other apps and other companies. I'm gonna show you how to identify that and make sure you turn it off. Now, the first thing we'll do is swipe up from here and get into your settings. We're gonna do everything here in your settings. Now, the first thing we'll do is scroll down and we're gonna look for the option for security and privacy and tap on that. Now, within security and privacy, all we're gonna do is scroll down to the very bottom and you can see under privacy at the very bottom is more privacy settings. Let's tap on that. The first thing that I would recommend tapping on is Android system intelligence. If you tap on that, it says device learning, get suggestions based on the people, apps, and content you interact with, AKA the emails, the text messages that you send and receive. I would first recommend hitting the clear data and clear it for all time. You don't need to share that data. But also we're gonna head back into there and tap on keyboard. And I would recommend turning this off, show smart text suggestions, because essentially this allows them to read those text messages to show those smart suggestions. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing is going back out of here. And there are a few other things as well. You can see at the very top, personal data intelligence. If I tap on that, it says get useful information and suggestions based on your messages, et cetera. So I would recommend either turning this off on individual apps that you don't want to be able to read those text messages, or you can just completely turn this off. You don't really need this to be turned on if you don't find it useful and it helps to secure all of your private information. Now, let's go back out here and there are some other things that you can do as well. You can see if I go to the very bottom is permission manager. And if I scroll down, you'll be able to see SMS at the very bottom. You can see apps with permission and can send and view your SMS text messages. Again, these are all on by default, but you might not want them to be able to do this. For instance, Google accessed my text messages within the last 24 hours. I'm gonna switch that to don't allow. And you can also go into other things, et cetera. You can go through this entire list and switch it to don't allow. I would recommend doing that unless you're really sure you want them to be able to access and read your messages. Now, the next thing we will do is go back out of here because there could be other apps that are reading your messages as well. So if we go back to the very beginning of your settings, let's scroll down until you find the option for apps and tap on that. Now, within apps, you can see at the very top right are those three dots. Let's tap on those three dots and tap on special access. These are all various items that various apps have special access to. And the main one is notification access midway down, tap on that. You'll be able to see some of these are turned on and this might seem relatively benign. However, let's see what pops up when I turn one on for something else. So say if I turn this on, it says if I turn this on, Android system intelligence will be able to read all notifications, including personal information such as contact names, the text of messages you receive, etc. So they can receive all of that information about the individual text that I'm sending out. I would recommend on this turning off any of these that you don't use. Just go through this list and essentially wipe it all out. Turn it all off. If you really need it, it will pop up and ask you, hey, do you want to turn this back on? And you can choose individually to turn them back on if you want to. The last thing I would recommend doing is going back out of here and we'll go to the very bottom and tap on usage data access. This gets access to all of your usage data across your phone, including all your messages, but calls, usage for apps, etc. Again, it's shared with a lot of different apps. And in a lot of cases, you might not want it to be shared. So you can, on a lot of these instances, just turn it off and go through this entire list and disable them. You can choose individually if you want them to be enabled, but otherwise I would turn them all off.